a long time because you need to leave soon. I know that. Hatusa chukua muda mrefu maana najua mnatakiwa muondoke sasa. Many of you need to get home even before sunset if possible. Wengi wenu mnatamani mfike nyumbani kabla jua kuzama kama itawezekana. But I want to tell you an ambassador has special credentials. Nataka kuambia balozi ana sifa za pekee. When an ambassador comes to the country of Tanzania, they have to produce credentials from their government to give to the government of Tanzania. Balozi anapokuja Tanzania kutoka katika nchi yao lazima alete cheti cha utambulisho kutoka kwa serikali yake na anayewakilisha kwa serikali ya Tanzania. Your credentials as an ambassador for Christ. Wewe una sifa kama balozi wa Yesu. Wa Yesu. Are found in verse 17 of 2 Corinthians 5. Inapatikana sifa zako zinapatikana katika sura ya tano ya Korinto wa pili mstari wa 17. Your credentials are that you are a new person in Christ. Sifa yako ya kwanza ni kwamba wewe ni mtu mpya ndani ya Kristo. All things are passed away and all things become new. Ya kale yamepita na tazama yote yamekuwa mapya. You are a new creature in Jesus Christ. Wewe ni kiumbe kipya ndani ya Kristo. He changes your life. Anabadilisha maisha yako. He makes you sweeter and happier. Anakufanya kuwa na furaha. You see all of us are sinners at the foot of the cross. Wote tu wadhambi chini ya msalaba. We need a savior. Tunahitaji mkombozi. And my brother-in-law has a picture he had a picture in his home. Ah ndugu yangu alikuwa na picha pale nyumbani of a man kneeling at the foot of the cross. Ya mtu ambaye alikuwa akipiga magoti chini ya msalaba. And at the bottom of this picture was a beautiful phrase or Na saying. chini ya chini ya hii picha palikuwa na msemo mzuri. The sinner or a man or a woman has reached the highest point. Kwa mdhambi mwanamume au mwanamke amefikia kilele cha juu kabisa when they are kneeling at the foot of the cross wapigapo magoti chini ya msalaba brothers and sisters here in tanzania understand tanzania that all of us are new creatures in jesus wote tu viumbe vipya ndani ya kristo as we humble ourselves before him tunapojinyenyekeza mbele zake secondly la pili an ambassador accepts his or her responsibilities. Balozi anakubali majukumu yake. It says here in verse 18 and 19. Nasema hapa mstari wa 18 na 19. All things are of God who has reconciled us to himself. Lakini vyote pia vyatokana na Mungu aliyetupatanisha sisi na nafsi yake. And then he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Na for Christ. Jukumu lako wewe kama balozi wa Kristo. In the home kule nyumbani in the church kanisani in the community katika jamii in the nation katika taifa is to bring people together in reconciliation ni kuwaleta watu pamoja kwa upatanisho thirdly la tatu an ambassador recognizes his authority balozi anatambua mamlaka yake in verse 18 it says all things are of god Fungu la 18 nasema mambo yote yatoka kwa Mungu. You represent the highest authority of the universe. Unamwakilisha wa juu kabisa katika ulimwengu. Fourthly, the ambassador of Christ represents the king of the universe. La nne, balozi anamwakilisha mfalme wa ulimwengu. It says in verse 20 nasema ule mstari wa 20 we are ambassadors for christ basi tu wajumbe kwa ajili ya kristo as though god were pleading through us kana kwamba mungu anasi kwa vinyo vyetu we implore you on christ's behalf tuomba ninyi kwa ajili ya kristo be reconciled to god mpatanishe na mungu represent representing the king of the universe mwakilisha mfalme wa ulimwengu an ambassador for him na ni balozi wake one who understands that yes lord i will go and be yule ambaye anaelewa na kusema ndio bwana nitakwenda fifthly an ambassador of christ no he believes satano balozi wa kristo anajua kile anachokiamini 
It says in verse 21. Inasema mstari wa 21. Salvation in Christ. Hili fungu ni fungu la pekee sana linalozungumzia wokovu ndani ya Kristo. This is the message God has called you to tell to the people in Tanzania. Huo ndio ujumbe Kristo amekuita kuambia watu hapa Tanzania. To join your worldwide family around the globe in proclaiming the three angels message. Kuungana na familia ya waadventista wenzako kote ulimwenguni kutangaza ujumbe wa malaika watatu. With the righteousness of Christ at the center of those three angels. Bao haki ya Kristo ndio kiini cha ujumbe wa malaika hao. The salvation and gospel message part of those three angels message. Ujumbe wa wokovu ni sehemu ya ujumbe wa malaika hao watatu. Because God in his infinite wisdom in cooperation with the Son and the Holy Spirit sent Jesus to this earth to die. Kwa sababu Mungu katika hekima yake isiyo na isiyo na ukomo akishirikiana na Roho Mtakatifu alimtuma Kristo kuja kufa kwa ajili ya ulimwengu. He died a death that we deserve. Alikufa kifo kilicho tustahili. That we might have the life that he gives to us eternally. Ya ili kusudi tupate ule uhai au uzima na tupatie yeye uzima wa milele. Oh what a privilege to be an ambassador for Jesus. Ni bahati ya pekee kiasi gani kuwa balozi wa Yesu understand that the lord has a special purpose for your life here in Tanzania. Kuelewa kwamba Mungu ana makusudi ya pekee kwa maisha yako hapa Tanzania. I read from the spirit of prophecy. Nasoma kutoka katika roho ya unabii. I am grateful that you are believers in the spirit of prophecy. Mimi ni naamini na nafurahi kwamba mnaamini juu ya roho ya unabii. It's one of God's greatest gifts to his church. Moja wapo ya karama za pekee sana za Mungu kwa kanisa lake. It does not take the place of the Bible. Haichukui nafasi ya Biblia. It is not the Bible. Sio Biblia. The Bible is our foundation of faith. Biblia ndiyo msingi wa imani yetu. But the spirit of prophecy was given by the same inspiration from the throne room of heaven. Lakini roho ya nabii ilitolewa na ufuvio ule ule kutoka katika kiti cha enzi cha mizi cha mbinguni. Believe the spirit of prophecy. Amini juu ya roho ya nabii. Promote the spirit of prophecy. Itangaza au kuza roho ya nabii. Live the instructions of the spirit of prophecy. Ishi maelekezo yanayotoka katika roho ya nabii. I read from testimonies to the church volume 7. Ninasoma kutoka shuhuda za kanisa gombo la saba. And in English page 138. Katika kile kitabu cha Kiingereza ni ni ukurasa wa 138. Seventh day Adventists have been chosen by God. Waadventista wa Sabato wamechaguliwa na Mungu. As a peculiar people separate from the world. Kama watu wa pekee waliotengwa kutoka katika ulimwengu. He has made them his representatives. Amewafanya kuwa wawakilishi wake and has called them to be ambassadors for him na amewaita kuwa mabalozi wake in the last work of salvation katika kazi ya mwisho ya ukombozi now listen to this next sentence hebu sikiliza hii sentence inayofuata the greatest wealth of truth ever entrusted to mortal people hazina kubwa ya ukweli iliyokabidhiwa kwa watu walio na mwili unaoharibika the most solemn and fearful warnings ever sent by god to man wito wa onyo la pekee uliotumwa na mungu kwa wanadamu have been committed to them to be given to the world wamepewa kutangazia ulimwengu this is your responsibility hilo ni jukumu lako You are an ambassador. Wewe well, ni balozi kwa ajili ya Yesu Kristo. God is calling for you to go forward. Mungu anakuita kusonga mbele. To understand he has a plan for your life. Kuelewa ya kwamba ana mpango kwa maisha yako. For you to say to him. Wewe well, kumjibu. Nita kwenda. I will go. What? You may never ride in a limousine. Unaweza usipande gari la kifahari. But I want to tell you something. Lakini ngoja nikwambie kitu. One day in the near future. Hivi karibuni siku moja. You will ride in a cloud going to heaven. Utapaa katika mawingu kwenda mbinguni. You you may never have an honor guard saluting you Unaweza here on earth. Na la saluti. But when you get to heaven the angels will salute you and wave you into heaven. Ukifika mbinguni, malaika watakupa saluti na kukukaribisha kuingia. You may not have flags that are flying in front of you as you walk. Unaweza usiwe na bendera zinazopepea mbele yako unapotembea. But I want to tell you the angels will open their arms and Christ himself 
will welcome you into the court of heaven. Lakini atakwambia malaika watafungua mikono yao na Kristo mwenyewe atakukaribisha makao ya mbinguni. As an ambassador for Christ. Wewe kama balozi wa Kristo. Being part of Impact 2025. Kuwa sehemu ya mkuso 2025. Everybody doing something for Jesus. Kila mmoja kufanya kitu fulani kwa ajili ya Kristo. Joining your brothers and sisters around the globe. Kuendea ndugu zako na dada katika ulimwengu wote. Looking forward to Jesus soon coming. Wanaotazamia marejeo ya Yesu hivi karibuni. One of these days very soon. Mmoja wao pia siku hizi hivi karibuni. We will look up into the sky. Tutaangalia katika anga. And we will see a small cloud appearing. Na tutaona wingu dogo likitokea. It will get larger and larger. Litaongezeka ukubwa. Brighter and brighter. Likingana kunga. It will fill the entire sky. Litaja anga lote. All of the angels of heaven poured out for this climactic event. Malaika wote wa mbinguni wakimwaga kwa tukio hili la mwisho. And I can guarantee you something. Na naweza nikakuhakikishia. On that day when Jesus returns. Siku hiyo Yesu atakaporudi. There will be no rain that day. Hapata kuwa na mvua siku hiyo. It will be a clear sky. Itakuwa ni anga angavu. Every eye will see him. Kila jicho litamuona. But I have to tell you something. Lakini ngoja nikwambie kitu. When I pray in a few moments. 